Am I the asshole? For screaming at my pregnant fiancé for not helping me find my dog, who had run off. My fiancé is currently five months pregnant and has been both fatigued and nauseous lately. I get why she didn't want to help me look for the dog but I can't get over the lack of empathy and bordering selfish behavior of this either. At first I went and searched myself. After maybe a half hour I came back and asked her again to come help me and she snapped I said no I am so tired of chasing that dog around multiple times a week when I'm already exhausted and throwing up constantly. I was panicked and unleashed some yelling, which involved me telling her she was a bit who lacked empathy and that I was thoroughly disappointed with my decision to be with someone so heartless. It was out of pure fear and panic on my part and I did apologize later after I found my dog, but she said go fuck yourself and won't talk to me. Am I the asshole? Everyone is on my side except my sister, who says I'm a fucking prick because it's not my pregnant fiancé's responsibility to chase around your fucking mutt and said she would have left immediately if her BF ever said what I did to her. Yeah, of course you're the asshole. You decided verbally abusing your pregnant girlfriend was an acceptable option out of the many you had. It's weird that you think there's any chance you aren't an asshole. You're the asshole. Didn't need to read past my dog runs off at least once a week. You're not a responsible pet owner, and it's not your pregnant fiancé's job to help you with this. I fear for your abilities as a parent. You're the asshole. Your lack of ability to control your dog is not your fiancé's problem it happens constantly so why act like the world ends when your dog gets out since it happens all the time, see the first point your fiancé is in fact justified in not helping you since she is pregnant and growing your child, fatigue and nausea is real regardless of any of the above, that is absolutely not how to speak to someone you pretend to love, no one deserves abuse. You're the asshole I feel badly she is having a child with someone who has a dog escape from the yard once a week and insists the pregnant, nauseated fiancé help locate the dog. Get it together, man. Kids are a lot harder to care for than dogs. You're the asshole and so is everyone except your sister. X200B And that I was thoroughly disappointed with my decision to be with someone so heartless. Imagine her disappointment with having a baby with someone who hurls abuse at her for having lost patience with an irresponsible pet owner. You're the asshole please say you're not is not heartless you are. Take yourself off and spend some time on a mountain in a monastery reflecting on yourself and how you can do better. Are you the same person with a healer that has bitten her multiple times and escaped from the car on the way to her ultrasound appointment too that posted a couple hours ago? You're the asshole. Train your fucking dog better. You failed your dog, this is on you. If you took more precautions and were a better owner, the dog wouldn't have gotten out. You have no right to get mad at your fiancé for your fuck-ups. You crossed several lines with what you said to her and I hope she leaves your ass. You're the asshole. If I was pregnant and someone talked to me like that, they'd never see me again. I hope she leaves you. You can't even handle a dog, but you're about to be a father. Your sister is right. You're the asshole from the title I was already like is this guy serious? I thought there'd be some kind of explanation that might make it look even a little bit better but no there isn't. If your dog escapes every week and you find the dog every week why is it even something you're freaking out about at this point? You also could have gotten someone else to help you look for the dog anyone else except your pregnant fiancé who isn't feeling well. I can't get over the lack of empathy and bordering selfish behavior of this. Dotto, my dude. She is pregnant fatigued and nauseous where the hell is your empathy for her? And you were not watching the dog when it escaped if you stepped away to grab your phone. I like your sister. You're the asshole, op. You're choosing your dog over the mother of your child. You care more about that out of control dog than you do your SO's health. Not only that, but without proper training, your dog is gonna get out and get hurt one day, and you're not seeking training? You are obviously not qualified to care for that animal. 
So you knew this was behavior your dog carried out frequently and still took your eyes off her? That definitely is not your partner's problem pregnant or not and screaming at her for not helping fix a problem you created multiple times is how I'd expect a child lacking in independent problem solving skills to talk to their dependents. You're the asshole. You're the asshole it's your dog and your problem. Considering this is a regular occurrence it makes you an irresponsible pet owner. Find the dog. Get a trainer, fix your fence and a get GPS collar. Yelling at someone who's tired of searching for your dog after your repeated negligence is abuse. I don't blame her for saying no at all. You are a huge jar. You know you have pet Houdini and escapes happen regularly. You turned your back on your dog and it escaped, that was 100 your fault what you said to fiancé was truly egregious apologize immediately and beg forgiveness. Also, put a tracker on the dog's collar. What is with the healer dog that doesn't behave and my pregnant wife has very good reasons for not helping posts today. I'm calling troll here too. And if it's not, obvious you're the asshole. Healer mix huh? This wouldn't happen to be the same OP who posted earlier about an aggressive healer mix who has bitten his pregnant partner multiple times, would it? You're the asshole op, whether you are or aren't the same person. Grow up and train your dog, or give it to someone who can. You're the asshole, I'm sick of chasing after your dog after just reading this post. Figure it out. It's not your girlfriend's responsibility when it's a known issue and it's still happening. Why are you so irresponsible about you let your dog escape once a week? You left it outside unsupervised, it's your fault clean up your mess. If you actually do have a child and you just leave it outside by itself to an end up in the middle of the highway and most definitely won't be your fiancé's fault again but it's strange you keep putting the blame on other people when you were definitely the asshole. You're the asshole. Grow up dude. You can't figure out how to keep a dog in your yard but have a baby on the way? TF? You're the asshole you have absolutely no right to yell or call your girlfriend's names no matter what. That is verbal and emotional abuse, and you do not get to do that to anyone, for any reason. Your girlfriend is pregnant and you need to get a grip on your dog and your own behavior. You have a baby coming, you can't be having your dog run away all the time and acting like it's anyone's responsibility but yours. Apologize to your girlfriend and do whatever you need to do to never, ever treat her like that again. You're the asshole. You can't be bothered to take care of your escape artist dog. What are you going to do with your toddler? Sorry, honey, I stepped away for point two seconds and the kid fell down the stairs. Your fiancé is pregnant, tired, and nauseous, she shouldn't have to chase after your poorly trained dog. You called her a bitch hopefully she realizes you aren't going to be an attentive dad. You're the asshole. Oh the irony. You accuse her of not having empathy, when that's exactly what you lack for your pregnant, nauseous, exhausted fiancé.